All right, at 623, you might think of the Houston Museum of Natural Science as a place full of fossils. And it is, but it's actually full of life, too. I got inside access. My name is Katherine Hocamp, and we're here in the Cockrell Butterfly Center Butterfly Conservatory. There are many butterflies. We estimate about 2,000 flying in this conservatory at any given time. And you're hatching like 700 to 1,000 of these every week? Yes, we import an average of about 800 every week from eight different countries. What is it like to watch as these creatures emerge from their chrysalis? Well, it gives me every time, and I've seen it hundreds of times. The emergence process is really one of the most imperative parts of their entire life. It has to stay in that position for uh, probably at least half an hour before its wings will dry out and then they'll stay in that position for the rest of its life. Then they need to be all gathered up into a basket and released here into their conservatory. This happens twice a day, every day at least. But a lot of people when they come in here, they're hoping for a butterfly to land on them and you have some good advice on how to oh, do that. Yes. If they're dressed in bright colors and reds and oranges, have a much higher rate of butterflies landing on them. They really like people who are sweaty. They get their salt from mammals. Go on a sprint through Herman Park. Yes. Come on in in your brightly colored workout gear. <laughs> exactly. And then you'll probably see a lot of butterflies land on you. I like that advice. Yes. Beautiful. Now, my you know, goodness. Like your dress, like I could yes. the butterflies would land on you. Yeah. <laughs> so those chrysalids wow. that you saw, they are on display. You just don't get as close as we did. You don't get to go behind yeah. the scenes. Uh, but tickets for a walk through the Butterfly Center are nine bucks for adults, eight for kids, worth every penny if you're a geek like me, because mm. that was right here. heaven. Right here. <laughs>